Hi, Cizrin here with another video for 3.17 and this expansion features these weird altars once you get to tier 14 maps. So I want to talk, talk a little bit about what they do, how they work, and sort of my approach to using these altars. So if we go in game here, so I'm currently target farming the blue ones. They seem to have more density and a lot of their mods are very, very easy for me. Also ignore my skill traits a little bit fucked right now. But more importantly for this, I have these and these. Now, why do I have both triangles when I'm farming only the blue one? Well, the small ones here aren't staring X-Arch influence monster packs at 5% pack size. They're just influence monster packs at 5% pack size. So that means that I'm getting an extra 20% pack size. So all of my monster packs have insane density and it's really, really good. It's very noticeable. I am even taking Shaping the Valleys and running Fortune Favors the Brave just for an additional 10% pack size. Now, the altars that spawn, which we'll show and I'll, I'll do a map here in a second. The altars that spawn, it seems to be every monster you kill has a chance to uh, has a chance to spawn an altar and there's recursion. The monsters that spawn when you click an altar also seem to be able to click like make another altar. Either that or something weird happened because I got like I, I clicked an altar and two more altars spawned. So there seems to be recursion. And I have the 50% increased chance to find Eater World's Altar in areas. And this is just for faster progress because it takes forever to spawn the boss. So I'm just farming like four or five at a time. Let's just open a cemetery here. You see I have the blue influence on. And you cannot use Shaper or Elder Scarabs while farming this because you can only have like one of those type of influence monsters. Let's just go find an altar. So here we can see an altar has appeared and I'll try to give a few examples of different altars and what I would do to them and we'll just fast forward till I find those. But on this one, it's the top one, is your hits always shock. All damage can shock, drop two additional gems. So that's the boss now always shocks, uh, which can be scary. I'm actually shock immune now for a change, which is nice. The other one is Eldritch Minions gain, 3% chance to drop additional unique item, but they'll curse me with punishment. When I click this, it will um, spawn a bunch of monsters. Now, um, you can see they're starting to drop uniques. And if I run slightly off screen and then run back on, the altar will reappear. But now I can't click it. Is it bugged? Yeah, it's bugged. Uh, if it doesn't appear on your map, it's not clickable. So it's just one you've already interacted with. Um, so we will find here is another one. This is actually a pretty good one. So, and this is one of the most important mods that I want to talk about. If you look at this mod, the, um, it's probably easier if I stand still. Um, the bottom one is that the map boss covers enemies in frost on hit. It's the same as ash, just for cold damage. Drops one Eldritch Icar currency. Now, I love these. But the top one is player gains minus six reduced cooldown recovery per power charge. So if you don't have power charges, this is a dead mod. And then basic currency items dropped by slain enemies have an 11% chance to be duplicated. Also, the new Eldritch currencies count as basic currency items, so they would have a chance to get duplicated. And more importantly, these will work with the Innocence recipe. So for those that are doing, you know, like Brian King, Innocence Touched, Triant, and Kitava Touched, you could find, like, you could save the recipe for when you have two or three of these. You could have two or three of these in a map. So there is an equivalent one as well for unique items. And the unique items one, uh, the most I've had so far is I had 70% chance to, to double unique items. I even got a brass dome. Th uh, sadly, the, almost said thankfully, sadly the brass dome did not duplicate. So I didn't get two, which would be very nice because I want more to double corrupt. And now sometimes in a map, you'll get very, very lucky and get things early on. And then the rest will be very, very big. So see, now I got again, like, if you're low on maps, you can take things like these. They they will really add up. Um, they can be really good for if you're also going to do, like, you know, map map stuff with the Triant. can be good to do combos like that if you're low on maps. So there's there's a lot of things that you can do. And uh, they, they really add up. You're seeing how many altars I'm getting, too. Um, it seems very RNG how many you can get. I, I think the most I've gotten is, like, 18 or something crazy with uh with this density because that was like a few of the altars responding a lot of them and uh it it really added up
So now, obviously, you could clear the entire map to min-max everything. I usually don't. I do clear the entire map whenever I'm going to do my, like, combo. You know, the Takari touched whatever combo. But now, you'll see that I'll drop things like Eldritch Exalted Orbs, Chaos Orbs, etc. Um, and I have a lot of those. That's funny, I dropped exactly what I said I would. And that's how you get a lot of those, by having the boss drop additional currency items. It's very, very noticeable. It's so good that they actually interact with the Arch Nemesis stuff and, and double things from those. Now, I do feel like when you get multiple, like for example, the ones that are like Eldritch Minions drop um, Eldritch Ichor currency items. Once you get two of those, I feel like it stacks multiplicatively. Once you get um, the the altar that says like currency, like Ichor uh, drops from the Eldritch Minions, I kind of feel like that stacks multiplicatively, um, but either way, it just it just seems insane. Like it just once you have two, it's just popping out a bunch of currency. Like we can go we can go look at my stash right now, and I've just used a bunch on my helmet. So I wanted to get Shock Immunity. Shock was starting to scare me, so I dropped my Vitality a little bit. Um, and I have like 10 of these, 13, 6, and I've used a bunch. And I had, I think I had 40 Grand Elder, sorry, Grand Eldritch. I had like 80 Greater, and yeah, I, I haven't used any Lester for a while. I'm mostly using the higher ones. But either way, I just wanted to make this quick video about what I've been doing with Alters. I am going to start farming the red ones next. Uh, apparently for the red ones, you really want to have the method upgrade for Soul of Abrath, where they become unaffected by burning ground is very, very painful for this character because I don't have that much regen. So that is probably what I'm going to do next. Either way, I hope the video helps. Thanks so much for watching, but more importantly, oh, and sub if you like the video, then more importantly, try to die than I do.